I learned the importance of living below my means from a young age, which meant I always strive to keep my expenses lower than my income. In this video, I'm going to show you 14 simple ways to save more money today. Number 1. Simplify your life I know people who have extravagant day and nighttime routines with several different lotions and makeup of all kinds. However, my partner is a great example of someone who simplified their routine to only things that they really felt mattered. For instance, one cream for day and night that includes sunscreen so that she can get the best value. Another thing is that we like to use the same electric toothbrush and just buy replacement heads. They're super easy to swap out and we only need one toothbrush for both of us. Number two, do more outdoor activities. One of my favorite things to do is run, especially on mountain trails or wildlife trails. On top of getting tons of fresh air, seeing wildlife and feeling the high of having a fantastic run with my partner and two dogs, we know we aren't spending a single cent. Another outdoor activity we like to do is go kayaking. We bought two inflatable kayaks on Amazon on sale and they've already served us for a few years and given us tons of fun times without spending much. Give this video a like to let us know if you enjoy free exercise to save money. Number three, own fewer things. There's really no limit to where you can own fewer things. For example, cutting back on your pot and pans, dishes, cutlery, napkins, clothes, tablecloths, and decorations. Well, the list goes on and on but it requires a bit of practice and a good memory of what you really need and what you don't. For instance, if you're out shopping and you see a cute candle, just ask yourself if that's something you really need or is it just another candle you won't use? Number four, put extra cash into debt. Paying off debt is one of the only ways to get richer by actually spending. As your bills get lower, so does the amount you pay, essentially giving you more income. There are a few ways to pay off debt. But at the end of the day, what matters most is that you're actively paying it off and noticing the amount getting smaller. Something that my partner and I do is save up money to put a major lump sum payment every year on our home to pay it off quicker. This way, when we have our mortgage evaluated at the five year mark, we'll be able to pay less since the loan will be significantly smaller. Number five, use the library. The library is one of the best resources available that's entirely free. There are countless books to read and nine times out of 10, if they don't have what you're looking for, the library can get it shipped from another location. If however, you're impatient, you can always buy books on Amazon in a Kindle format, which is much cheaper, or Amazon sometimes offers the ability to buy a book in used condition, helping you save money. Are you an avid reader? Let us know in the comments below how you like to save money with books. Number six, don't buy expensive meals. Ever since my partner and I bought our home, we've drastically reduced the amount of meat we eat, considering the high cost. For example, we don't eat fish since it's way too pricey and we only buy beef, pork, and chicken if it's on sale and save it in our chest freezer. For us, we're content with getting our protein from beans and eggs, which is much cheaper and lowering our red meat helps us stay healthier. Number seven, you don't need an expensive razor. The difference between a razor that costs $40 and the replacement blades another $40 doesn't make a big difference between the razor that costs $15 and the replacements that cost $2. It's an obvious choice to pick the lower cost razor to save money and get a good shave. Bonus tip, avoid ladies razors as they tend to cost more due to the pink tax, despite not being any better than men's razors. Number eight, lower your energy use. Our bodies are adapted to temperature changes and rediscovering this trait can help you save money on heating. For me, I was always told to put on socks or a sweater if I got cold in my home growing up instead of turning up the heat. Now I still carry the same habits and avoid turning up the heat. The same concept applies to the air conditioner. I actually grew up without an air conditioner for a long time and I'll tell you, it's not easy to sleep at 80 degrees Fahrenheit, but it's doable with a fan and thin sheets. Not to mention that these habits have helped us save a lot of money in the long run. Number nine, order the value menu. If you're going to order takeout from a fast food place, you might as well get it cheap. It's highly unlikely that you're going for the taste, but for convenience. At least that's what I go for. The value menu, as the name implies, gives you the best value for your meal, isn't usually that different from the menu items and will give you the fix you're looking for. Number 10, wear the same styles of clothing. It's easier and cheaper and makes me feel better wearing the same style of clothing every day. No matter what, Clothes need to be replaced and you still need to have enough to wear for at least two weeks, but it's helped me save money by avoiding experimental purchases of clothes that I'll never wear. And it saved me time because I know exactly what I'm looking for. Number 11, make your own coffee. I'm a big coffee lover. 
and I've always liked making my own coffee at home. When I grew up, my parents always brewed their own coffee, and I just kept the habit. I like being able to enjoy a cup first thing in the morning and at the same time. I know I'm saving tons of money on gas to go to a coffee shop and just on the coffee itself. Did you know you can save close to 500% by just making your own coffee at home from the same coffee beans as your favorite coffee shop? If you want to learn more amazing facts like this about how you save money, then subscribe to Investors Weekly. Number 12. Give up alcohol. This depends on the person, but there are people who spend up to $300 and beyond on alcohol every month. Even just reducing your alcohol intake by half can already help you save $150 a month or $1,800 a year. I chose to give up alcohol, but if you enjoy drinking, then limit your days of drinking to only the weekend and watch how much you'll save. Number 13. Order water at restaurants. There's a twofold benefit to drinking water. Firstly, it's much healthier for you than drinking soda. Secondly, it's significantly cheaper since water is usually free at any restaurant. For example, I used to eat chicken wings at a restaurant I loved, and when I would order a Sprite or Coke with my food, it blasted the cost of my food by $3.50 or more every time. Now that's just for me, but you can easily multiply that number by every member of your family and suddenly you're saving between $10 to $20 just by drinking water. Before I share this last tip with you, let us know in the comments below if you have any other simple ways to save money. Number 14. Take lunch to work. It's an extremely simple step that goes a long way towards savings. One of my favorite lunches is a chicken wrap with some rotisserie chicken, lettuce, tomatoes, and mayo in a tortilla. It's extremely easy and very quick to make. You can easily do it before you go to work in less than 5 minutes and save tons of money. There's no excuse. 